The K-drama Dear Hieri has received a lot of backlash due to its cast as netizens are furious that some actors were chosen despite being involved in quite some serious scandals. One member of the cast who has been at the center of controversy is Kim Tae Rin, formerly known as Daya from the idol group Barry Good, who's making her drama debut in Dear Hieri, taking on a supporting role. She found herself involved in a controversy in 2019 when an anonymous netizen who claimed to be Tyreen's former schoolmate accused her of harassment. According to the poster, she insulted and physically attacked them and their friends during their school years, allegedly because they were close to the boy that Tyreen liked. Barry Good's agency immediately denied the rumors and announced that they would take legal action against the netizen who wrote the post. Soon afterward, another person made similar accusations against Tyreen, stating that she mocked and harassed them while they were in school. Tyreen soon came out with her own statement on the matter, saying that it's true that she had a fight with the first person who accused her, but added that the incident was quickly resolved. She also insisted that no harassment took place. Additionally, in response to the second accusation against her, Tayrin stated that the poster who made them was the first to harass her and her friends, and an altercation emerged because of this. Finally, Tayrin warned that she would take legal action against people who spread false rumors about her. Sometime later, a Korean news website revealed that Tayrin was once punished for misbehavior while in school and forced to work in the school and attend four hours of special classes. However, her agency once again stated that the news was false and she never received any disciplinary measures. In fact, soon afterwards, the website released a statement reporting that the news was indeed false, clearing Tay Rin from the accusations. In the end, all the allegations against Tay Rin turned out to be either false or exaggerated. This was also proven legally since after years of legal battles between her and the people who accused her, the court ruled in favor of her. The first accuser was found guilty of spreading false rumors and damaging Tay Rin's reputation and received a fine of $1,500. Moving on to the main actors, the female lead of the series is Shin Hye Sun, who has been involved in a few controversies over the years. The first scandal emerged in 2021, when the historical drama Joseon Exorcist received a ton of backlash from Korean viewers because of its inaccuracies and was canceled after only two episodes. Hye Sun wasn't in this drama, but Korean netizens started to look for similar cases, and the series Mr. Queen, in which she had a leading role, soon Soon received the same backlash. In fact, the series was surrounded by controversy since it first aired in 2020, and many Koreans believed that the drama was mocking their country's history instead of portraying it accurately. So when the issues with the drama resurfaced a year later, netizens targeted Hye Sun in particular because she previously stated that she loved the series since first reading the script. Netizens went on to accuse Hye Sun of intentionally mocking Korean history, with many saying that she was a sellout. The fact that she was also featured in a commercial for fried chicken while wearing a historical dress fueled the accusations even more. Because of the backlash, Hye Sun lost two brand endorsements and didn't appear in any new project until 2023 when she got a leading role in the drama See You in My 19th Life. However, just when it looked like she had finally recovered from the scandal, Hye Sun was once again at the center of a controversy. It happened in October 2023 when some rumors claiming that Hye Sun was a heavy drinker emerged online. According to these rumors, Hye Sun drank so much that bar employees even started avoiding her. She denied the allegations, arguing that it was just a misunderstanding. Hye Sun then explained that she only drinks a lot when she's with other people, and when she does, she only has lighter drinks. Strangely enough, this time, it seemed like her explanation was enough to calm down the rumors. However, the most controversial actor in Dear Harry is without a doubt the male lead Lee Jin Wook. After earning a lot of praise with his performances in series like Nine in the time we were not in love, his flourishing career came to a halt in 2016 when he was at the center of a huge controversy. The scandal emerged when a woman filed a report to the police claiming that Jin Woo had forced himself on her. Jin Wook's agency immediately denied the allegations and sued the accuser. The woman then clarified her accusations, claiming that she had some meetings with Jin Wook in the past and that the incident happened after a night of drinking.
working together. Netizens were shocked by this news, with some saying that they never expected something like this from someone like Jin Wook. Others didn't believe the accusations at all, and many netizens argued that there was something fishy about the woman, and that she was just trying to get revenge or money. The investigation began soon afterwards, and despite the real possibility of being arrested, when Jin Wook appeared at the police station, he smiled like everything was fine. This prompted a lot of backlash toward him, as many pointed out that the accusations were very serious and there was nothing to smile about. A few days later, dispatch revealed the evidence submitted by both Jin Wook and the accuser, and tried to explain the timeline. According to this report, the two had dinner together with a mutual friend, but then went their separate ways. Later, Jin Wook called the woman multiple times, and apparently they talked about fixing the blinds at the woman's house, after which she texted him her address. Jin Wook allegedly arrived at her home past midnight and stayed there for two hours before leaving. However, it's not clear what exactly happened while they were together. Dispatch also revealed the photos of the woman's supposed injuries, which according to Jin Wook, weren't real. An anonymous source then came out to reveal new alleged details on the story. This person claimed that Jin Wook was interested in the woman and had feelings for her. Apparently, he was the one who proposed to fix the broken blinds in the woman's house after she mentioned this issue during their dinner. According to this source, when Jin Wook arrived at the woman's house, she was wearing a revealing outfit with no underwear, and this led to a consensual contact between them. A few days after this new report came out, the woman suddenly admitted that what happened was indeed consensual and Jin Wook didn't force himself on her. Jin Wook was cleared of all the accusations and confidently thanked fans for their support, but many netizens weren't happy about this. Some argued that he still ruined his innocent image by having a one-night stand and that what he did was wrong anyway. However, things got more confusing just a few days later when the woman retracted her statements. She explained that the investigators tried to convince her to publicly declare that her accusations were false, so she accused Jin Wook of forcing himself on her once again. The legal fight didn't stop there. After two arrest warrants for her were denied, the woman was booked without detention on the suspicion that she made false accusations. However, in June 2017, the court ruled in her favor, declaring her not guilty and arguing that the relations might have happened against her will. The ruling added that Jin Wook didn't ask for consent, and the woman didn't explicitly agree to what happened. Jin Wook then appealed this decision, and in February 2018, the verdict was overturned, with the woman being sentenced to eight months in prison with two years of probation. This ruling caused a ton of controversy because it basically argued that the relations might have been not consensual, but there was no proof of this, and Jin Wook didn't threaten her. This sparked a lot of discussion on how consent works in Korean law, with some pointing out the odd reasoning behind the second ruling. Nevertheless, the case was closed and Jin Wook continued with his career as if nothing happened, appearing in successful dramas such as Voice Season 2 and Sweet Home. However, netizens never forgot about what happened, and the controversy surfaced once again this year when Jin Wook was revealed as part of the cast of Dear Hiri. Since the drama was described as healing, some pointed out that there's nothing healing about Jin Wook, and his presence in the drama was instead traumatizing. Since the final ruling on the case was a bit confusing and raised a lot of eyebrows, many still believe that Jin Wook is guilty and came out of the scandal without punishment while the victim was sent to prison. Because of this, many people online expressed their discomfort with watching Jin Wook on screen, and some even called for a boycott of the series. Additionally, Jin Wook has also been announced as part of the cast of the upcoming second season of Squid Game. This has prompted a new wave of protests against Netflix for casting him, and many netizens are wondering how he's still getting a lot of new projects after the scandal. Despite all the backlash, Dear Hiri aired its first episodes as scheduled and received good viewership. But the series will surely keep being controversial.